So what is up guys, so I'm back with another video, today I'm just going to be playing some competitive, I've just hit diamond 2 recently, but I'm also just going to give like a couple of tips along the way on your stuff, like if you're a gold or a bat watcher, that you can kind of maybe just use to help practice, but yeah it's just going to be a bit more chilled out, and the practicing, because you if you're like in gold and you're thinking, yeah, I want to be a player if you're a player thinking, yeah, I think I can get diamonds. That's good. And I and I believe in you guys, you can get ranked one. I kind of really want to be champion at some point. But the thing is, if you're like a gold one, or like you've just hit gold or plat, don't stop immediately thinking about the next rank. Because in that, I made the mistake of the middle second I hit plat, I was like, how to get diamonds properly. But I wasn't skilled enough for that kind of stuff. So instead, you should be setting goals like, oh, I want to try and get like flat one, two, three. Right? And then maybe when you hit flat two, that's when you can start seeing what you should actually try to practice on. But you just kind of want to get a feel for your rank, you know? I've been a diamond for ages. Because I keep seeing people lose diamond two. But anyway, yeah. Also, warm up. If you're one of them guys that just like, so just for example, I've just hit Rocket League and I'm like, that's bad. Don't want to do that. You want to do some free play. And depending, and depending on how much you care about your ones rank, you can either start off with a casual ones game, which I'm going to, for this example. Or a competitive ones game, which I'll also do before I queue up. But yeah, so, there's a couple of tips I'll give out. Especially, this is, this tip kind of applies for twos, but especially ones. Capitalize on opponent's mistakes. Like, if you watch a replay of a game, oh, I But yeah, if you literally watch a replay, you'll notice how many mistakes are on you. might thinking, what are you next? Shouldn't I be noticing the mistakes play? No, no, shush it. You won't, because you're too focused on not getting scored on. See, look, a whiff, and that's a gob. Obviously, I kind of jumped earlier, yeah, I'm a dud at that. Dude. Okay, well now I'm going to the base and blow that up. Okay, well see, this kid's getting mad. You don't want to get mad just now, because then you're going to be prone to your ultimate enemy of any floor out there. You'll be whipping. Because if you're mad, you get tilted. You get tilted. You start sucking, and then that makes you even more tilted. How do you resolve this? Don't get tilted in the first place. Oh, easy as that. Yeah, rage is not good. Also, don't trash talk your teammates, because that's just going to make them feel bad. They're going to get upset. Then they're going to start also with it more. And then if you're one of the kids that just keeps trash talking them, well, then they're going to play even worse. So if you think about trash talking, just think, how would you feel if you were new to the game? Just started and you instantly get trash talked. Don't think you'd be happy. Gotcha. So yeah. Just and don't even trash talk the opponents because then especially if they start with some kind of attack with other stuff. Boom, we're just gonna get the nice and just well. But they're just gonna spend a lot of time on them. So yeah, do don't just rocket league, don't trash talk, be nice. If your teammates whip in and they say sorry, just say hold on from the road. Like, you with as well. So yeah, and another tip, blame and teammates. And you, if you watch other people's tutorials, you probably hear everyone make tutorials say this. But if you only blame your teammates, you become what's called to copy. It's basically just where you think you're so good, and the only reason you're held back or diamond yet is because your teammates. Which 99.99999% of the time is not the case. There's like, ooh, the majority of the plays, there's always something you could have done better. Like, see, in this play, for example, he could have, he was staying on the ball too much there, so. Also, I'd recommend going for kickoffs most of the time. Just because you can fake a kickoff once in a while, but I won't do it once in a while. So, no, I'm not saying it's See, look, boom, mistake. He's sat in there. 
sends it, he sends it in this field in a one game, so he leaves it up wide open for 44%. So I think it'll do well if you're making the position tech can be good if you get a little fight tap actually. So yeah, use the field to your advantage, like walls and stuff if you're on the skill. There's like a million blades you can push the wall. Also boost star bin. If you're a gold, you probably don't worry about this too much, but that's maybe keep it back in mind. Especially in ones, like look, I'm taking all the big boost. Eventually he's out of boost. Boost star. But look, he's, he can only exact a few mini pads at a time. God, this guy's swearing so much. How come he goes from GLHF and start cursing about the game? It's not the game, it's my guy. Judging by his chat, I'm pretty sure he's come back to Rocket League after a break. I did that with the game I played with Rocket League on Fortnite. And yeah, I started sucking. I don't play it much anymore, but I still play it on Fortnite. Probably actually can't play it. Let's just see what's up. So I've still got this Rocket League on Fortnite. Which isn't that bad, so I'm not big on it. I don't like this color because... A, I've spent money on it, and B, I'm not there for a second, I can't afford it. Anyway, I'm back to actually using the tip for drifting off. But yeah, see, he's going for a dribble play, that's good. Oh, weak flicks. Practice your flicks. Especially you guys in gold. Like, flicking is literally like a huge killer weapon that you just don't practice enough. He's mad. Okay, he says he just killed my knife. I did now he's been killed this one match. If it's 5 2, my guy come back. Oh, yeah, don't forfeit early. Like, if you're down 3 goals with half the game left, you can still come back. A lot of the time when I play with some of my friends, I always like to think in my head, okay, I'm down 3 goals with a minute 30 left. So that's one goal. 30 seconds, we can come back. Also, kickoff goals are really useful, which is why I'm going for kickoffs. Because that kickoff goal could be all you need to win. That kickoff goal could have been the win of the L of them. Also, you don't even need to flip all the time. A lot of the time now, I just kind of double jump like that, ball, and then the ball just kind of flies in. Also, one thing, this is more to the caps for goals too. If you're not, the, if you don't flip reset, you're not going to be carried to GC. Some people think, oh, if I if I learn edge balls, I'll always be like SSL. No, you wouldn't. Practice the basics. It's better to be okay at all. It's better to be okay. Bad thing. Like, aren't you? Obviously, you get the people that are like, thanks, 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 nice bump, oh my god, you have to bump to win, you're so bad, blah, blah, blah. But you're not. Bumping is a balanced way that if you're rotating back and someone's sitting in the middle, they'll bump them. Don't purposely go around them. Like, they're your opponents, not your teammates. You can rotate around your teammates. Oh, I thought you up. Well, I was going to try and do a double with that, but apparently, not needed. Yeah, I was going to try and get another touch on that, but... Two touch play is also very good, like even if you get a small wait for to jump and double jump and bam, like even the smallest touch is over the head. But yeah, like I said, bumps and demos, they're not a bad thing. Like, the only time a bump and play, bump and play is bad is when you go out of the way, but if they're just like on route, just give them a little bit of bump to your car. So you can trust your teammates, like if they're gone on the solo play, don't chase them. Some people will say imagine your teammates aren't there, but that but sometimes that gets interpreted wrongly as in full scene. I know some people will say like but that doesn't make sense and stuff. But like if you don't feel comfortable hitting that shot and you're aware your teammate is behind you, you can let them take it. Like especially if it's just like a slow roll and be on that position. And they can easily groom it downhill to let them take it. Like That was close. Also, fast aerials, you kind of just want to learn them because they're quicker than a normal aerial, hence they're fast. But 
but you don't have to if the ball's close enough where you can flip it, do flip. Also holding your jump will extend you to the time. So you can do that as well. That's like a that's a totally nice tip I find, but it's I just thought it'd be worth to mention. Okay, see look, my teammate, you can trust him, like he's not really done anything bad. Also, but if you've got one gold above them, don't feel like you need to score more. Also, sometimes if two defenders are in net and you think, yeah, I'm going to be able to score that and you know your teammates there, you smack it off the bar and let your teammate take it. Because some best case scenario is neither of them think the other's going to jump and they'll both jump for it, but you purposely missed. And then obviously, boom, three net your teammate. And if they miss it, well, you probably wouldn't have yourself anyway, so it's not that bad. Yeah, you kind of want to trust your teammate enough to give them space with the ball. Because now look, if I pushed up there, we'd have to put up and put some space. Also, backboard clear is something you can grab to the front of that Obviously, some, sometimes my go-to move is like pop it off and edge up. But you see that that is a bad idea if you can't edge up the So I wouldn't do that much. Unless it's in like a really good position or something like that, then fair enough. But it's not the best move, so I didn't do that on purpose. Obviously, but I just this just kind of my go to sometimes, but obviously, in the normal situation. Also, a certain rank rolling off the side post isn't going to work with the back there, but in gold, take advantage of it, but you don't want to make it like hurt something you can already do. Okay, that's going to sit up for him, but he's far. If you didn't get a second touch, there are 11. I don't worry about that. But yeah, don't trash your black and white. Okay, now my teammates are just going to be good. Oh my, that was close. That was really well placed. Reminds me actually, placement. You want to be able to place your shots well. Okay, we're all tied up. Like I bumped him out of the way. Watch. He's coming. Bam, he's out of the way. Obviously that was a light bump, but still. You don't always have to demo. Bumps work as well. Some kind of bump tree. Oh I mean sometimes a bump is actually better, like if they're both on your side you can kind of make it get to their side of the bump. Scenarios like that you might want to try and think about think twice before going for that risky demo. Even if you get it, it might not be for the best. That was bad because we both committed in there, but I thought we'd take it, but he didn't, so I should probably do that. Okay, scores were tied up, but I've got a nice clear there. Okay, he's cleared it back, I should have been in there. So if you miss a ball, don't worry, don't feel like, okay, now I've missed that, I need to sort of go to like, repay my teammate. Don't have that mindset, because then you're going to spend the whole game thinking, oh god, I've screwed up, I need to have to stop paying that off. Nice! Uh, we've got this win in the bag, but there's no way they 
They forfeited. Wait, no, the guy just left. Bro, like, you've got seven seconds. You should really still a chance you want. I'm trying to... got a couple of options here, so... My bonus tip will be... Free play. It's really useful. You should definitely use it a lot. Like, if you're just sitting in a lobby, like, you're not waiting for you to just watch your player. Just think, go and free play, fresh mechanics and stuff. Practice getting a little ball touch in. So use it to warm up every time you play. Just because you can do everything without the rush. Like, and there's no reason to monitor every bad play, you think? Sure, it's always worth it. I'm just gonna help you get the ball up and just start the ball first. Sure, really key tip. First tip I can actually give. And like I said, you don't need to, you don't need to have seen and shot. Until you're like out of rank crash matters. Like I can, I'm not the best at it. Same kind of thing with just like any of the advanced kind of like edge or stuff such as that. But yeah, eventually though know, you will be at rank and you're gonna like kinda of just need them because the defense is so good. But until you do really need them, it's not the most important thing. I've got a couple of balls of ceiling shots, but I've actually got a lot of dribbles with the extended that's not. So, like best thing. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed me giving some tips for some gameplay, you can let me know with a like down below. Anyway, that was it for me today. You can I'm Rufus Sky. Please do subscribe. I will be making more tutorials and just kind of content like challenges later on. It was like year and day and month. Yeah, just later on. Oh. Yeah, I try to post weekly, so and I do try hard, try my best, I can to make sure I'm like pretty pacing it's enjoyable. Anyway, I've talked about much now. Anyway, yeah, that's the next guy. Please subscribe if you enjoy and like the video. Bye.